have you read some of the Stoicism stuff? Mm-hmm. Are you are you into yeah, that? Yeah, Epictetus. Okay. Uh, meditations, Marcus Aurelius. Yeah. Um, I was okay. big on those in uh, really like two years ago when I first got here. Um, that was by far like if you want to talk about like a rock bottom, that was that was probably it. Um, I had a really good training camp in practice. Uh, I was we had all the COVID rules, so I was only quarterback for like five days, took every single rep at practice and, and played really well. And then got into preseason games and just hadn't played real football, been live for a while and just really played like shit at the end of the day. And and, uh, and then the way it all went down there, um, they drafted a guy, wanted to go a different route, got cut in kind of a weird way. Um, and then told like, oh, we didn't think you wanted to come back. So, you know, we'll see if we have a spot for you on practice squad. Go wait at the hotel. Spent like four or five hours just sitting at the hotel, like asking my agent, like, what's going on here? And uh, and then the GM texted my agent, like, hey, we're going a different direction. So uh, just the roller coaster of that, like, I remember thinking I had this opportunity. I didn't play well enough. Like, you know, there's, there's it wasn't lack of effort, but yeah. at some some point it is, you know, you're tearing up in the car like, man, this, I'm, this is over. Right. Because I wasn't getting any other calls for really any P-Squad spots or anything. And so then fast forward a couple of days, I get a tryout here. I move here. I don't know anybody on the team really. Um, I don't know a couple guys, but, you know, everybody's in season. I'm living here by myself. I got rented furniture mm. in an apartment. I'm on a month-to-month <sighs> lease. Hell yeah. Wondering if I'm – the first game we played was against the Vikings, so I'm like, is this one of those things where I'm here for like a week <laughs> right. to try and win this game or am I out? Uh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. They were trying to pick your brand. Yeah. Forget and, those happen. I forget those happen. Oh, yeah. This league's shiesty sometimes. Yeah. Boy. And so just – I remember – and. My girlfriend was working full time uh, back in Idaho where we were living at the time. And so she couldn't come out a ton. I was just here by, by isolated it's like, tough. by myself. Yeah. And so, you know, leaned on guys in the locker room, tried to get around the defense as much as possible. Mm-hmm. Always enjoyed those times. But the stoicism stuff kind of came into my life at the right time. Mm-hmm. And uh, I just remember, like, you know, kind of the main one of the main things about it is no matter what happens to me, like no one will take my mental. Mm-hmm. Like no one will take my mm-hmm. my choice my freedom of choice yeah right and uh and i just remember reading some of those things and like it hit home and i think it hit at the right time for where i was at and uh you, know, you gotta have a certain level of maturity and have gone through some certain mm-hmm. things to read that and really resonate with it so yeah, yeah it's been it's been good daily stoic uh discourses one. meditations mm-hmm. uh those have kind of been the main three but you know always a work in progress nobody's perfect but i kind of Kind of like just having those little reminders. Yeah. Every day. Have you read Ego is the Enemy? I have. It's a good one. Yep. Some of the Ryan Holiday Holiday yeah. books. He Holiday or Holiday? Holiday? I can't Holiday. remember. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's he's got some good ones. Um I gotta check that one. Yeah, it's a good one. Okay. Especially going through an injury and some adversity. It's <clears> like, <throat> you know, every day you wake up you got a choice. And uh, you know, like I said, that's the timing of my life where I kind of found that it was it hit home. Yeah.